Hi Scorpio, welcome to your Do They Miss You reading. This is a reading having a look to see if there's someone you were once connected to um, around you and if they're missing you, if they're thinking about you and possibly if there's a chance for reconciliation. This could apply to exes, uh, people that you were involved in long-term relationships with, short-term relationships with, even previous marriages or de facto relationships as well. Um, please Remember, messages will resonate with others. Um, sometimes the messages make sense and everything falls into place, whilst others it does. Um, other times it does not. So please keep this in mind, Scorpio. Nonetheless, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're after a private reading, all the information you require is below in the show more section. I really do appreciate all your support. So thank you so much. Um, let's get straight into it and see um, who's missing you. Are they missing you? Who is it? This could be the one person. This could be several different people. Or I might mention one or two things um, or perhaps even nothing at all um, that will make sense. But hopefully there is something in here for you. Scorpio. Do they miss you? Okay, the Temperance card. This is a strong Sagittarius that's coming through with the Temperance card. I feel like someone is wanting peace or someone is wanting something from you. They want something to do with balance. I feel like there's someone, it could be a Sagittarius or it could be someone that's quite um, quite peaceful in their nature, quite mature, um, that's coming forward here. And I think this sort of energy here is, is that the energy around this person is, is that they would like um, peace or they would like um something in moderation i feel as though this person longs to communicate to you more um, they either want to hear from you more or they want to restore balance um, into their life after the two of you have parted ways with the temperance card i feel like this person feels like you're a counterpart you're the other half um, to them is what i'm seeing here so i feel like someone is longing for you someone finally now realizes maybe they haven't realized before Scorpio but someone finally realizes your worth and finally realizes what you did for them who you were what you added to their life what you brought to their life um, I feel like they feel like you are the yang to their yin or you are the yin to their yang so to speak as indicated by this beautiful symbol here in the middle and I feel like someone is nurturing that um, in particular it could be a Sagittarius or a fire sign X um, But I really feel, you know, someone's wanting to merge with you or to meet with you once more. And I think they're wanting peace or a truce of some kind even. This could be coming up for some of you. Okay, the King of Wands. Strong fire sign um, that's coming through. He's Scorpio and Aries, Sagittarius or Leo. King of Wands energy is that they're feeling unsettled without you. I feel like someone is trying to A, move on from you altogether, is trying to restore balance or peace, um, trying to restore some sort of equilibrium into their life again. But I also feel like they're, um, they're either trying to move on completely, they're completely trying to invest in restoring balance within themselves internally, or I feel like there's an anxious energy about them where they're trying to reach out to you. So I feel like it could go either way for you here, Scorpio. But in particular, if you are dealing with a fire sign, I feel you may hear from this person um, or there's movement around them. So whether they're moving forward back to you or moving away, there's definitely movement. There's progress in one aspect here. Um, some some of you have an improved relationship with an ex or a previous person you were connected to and it's civility, um, it's being pragmatic, um, it's being in an amicable relationship with each other or friendship I can see. Whilst for others I feel the king of wands could symbolize passion, infatuation, um, determination, someone is being quite relentless um, in trying to get you back into their life for example. But the King of Wands is um, it's quite persistent energy. So I feel like someone might be persistent. It doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign. Although I think this person um, is exhibiting a fire sign traits, fire sign behavior, so to speak, um, with the King of Wands. Okay, the Four of Swords. 
someone is definitely trying to work on themselves trying to improve i feel like someone is feeling really deserted or alone so i'm not sure what you gave to them scorpio but without having you there without having your energy um, and your nurturing soul around them i feel like with the four of swords there's an element of loneliness um it's withdrawal i think for some they're withdrawing they're trying to find balance within so i think there's self-improvement or they're trying to work on themselves here for some of you in particular if it is an air sign a gemini libra aquarius which does represent the swords um, i feel like this person is single at this point in time they are meeting people for physical connections but nothing is really resonating with them i think they just want to be alone um, i think they still need to think over what happened they're possibly getting really um, philosophical over your relationship. There's a lot of thinking that happens with the Four of Swords, a lot of analyzing um, and repeating. It's almost like someone's, they keep playing the scenario in their mind, um, so to speak. And this could be any sign here, Scorpio, but I really do think someone's in a bit of a slumber. Um, they're trying to restore balance and they're trying to make peace with what um, has happened between the two of you and I can see they're consciously making a very um, a very committed effort to do so um, and I think they're just going through a whirlwind of emotions but they're trying to bring themselves um, to, to, to pick themselves up and, and move on from this Scorpio is what I'm seeing here Okay, the Knight of Wands, more fire energy, Aries Sagittarius Leo that's coming through here. Knight of Wands is, is quite passionate and it's this relentless energy. It's much like the King of Swords. So I definitely feel for some of you Scorpios out there, there is someone who's trying to um, communicate with you, you know, burning up your phone with messages, trying, uh, you know, maybe even coming off a little bit too forceful um, with the Knight of Wands. I think some of you may rekindle for a Knight of Passion with someone. This is possible as well. Um, I feel for some, you may be going on some sort of trip um, or you may be meeting someone um, from your past abroad in a different city, country, state, region. This person is coming through here um, because a Knight of Wands is a traveler. I also feel like this could be like, um, again, I, I, I keep getting the notion of time travel um, because I think if they're thinking about it and there's travel looking towards the four of swords I feel like this person is going back in time or they're reminiscing um, possibly even stuck in the past a little bit here trying to move on but I think um, they're still dwelling is what I'm seeing here and whether or not they're communicating this to you whether or not they're making it plain to you I think on some level they're still thinking about this it's still in the back of their mind so I definitely feel like you're still on their mind this relationship this connection is still um, very vivid to them okay the devil card strong Capricorn that's come through here there's definitely someone that feels trapped, um, someone that feels like you still have power over them, um, that you've almost like cast a spell on them. Um, I'm not sure if you're trying to manipulate his, someone, his Scorpio, whether consciously or uh, subconsciously. Um, you're trying to, you're, you, you've still got a power over someone. You've still got a strong hold over someone is what I'm seeing here. And it could be a bit of a toxic um, situation here for some of you. You know, the Capricorn, uh, the devil energy, um, can be that someone has power or control so i feel like someone may feel like you're either a being very powerful or controlling in some aspect you're still involved in their life and you're still controlling their thoughts in a way or their emotions um or b um i feel like they're wanting to control or manipulate you um, I'm not sure if there was manipulation or control in the past, but this is resurfacing and someone feels someone feels trapped. You know, someone feels like they can't move on. Um, maybe what was said, what was done, you know, they feel like locked, they feel bogged down, they feel chained to you or they feel chained or repressed um, in a way here, like they can't move on or they're not ready to move on. So maybe this would explain why they're still single. For some, of course, they have moved on. They are making peace. They are finding someone that is their counterpart, that is their other half. But for others with this devil energy, it could be that, you know, you've done something to them. 
you know, and I still feel very strongly here, uh, Scorpio, that someone is still very much under your spell, um, whether they've communicated this to you or not, whether you're still in touch or not, um, you're still doing things to them years after your breakup, weeks, days, months, hours, minutes after your breakup um, is what I'm seeing here with the devil card. There can be someone also that's going to try to come back into your life and maybe try to manipulate you to be with them in some sort of way here. Um, but it could just be a Capricorn as well that's coming through um, that is still feeling linked to you in a really, really strong way. Okay, the Six of Wands, more fire. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, energy. Six of Wands is victory. It's conquest. I feel like someone is trying to compete with you almost. You know, it's sitting next to the Devil card. So in one way, I'm going to read it as in someone's trying to compete with you. There's a fire sign that's trying to show you they're better off without you. They're trying to move on. They're trying to outdo you. So maybe they're comparing um comparing your path, your journeys, that your, your separate journeys, your your own journeys that you've traveled. There's trying to draw comparison in some way, um, I feel. Whilst for others, I feel like there is a fire sign that is going to come back. Um, it is infatuation, passion, desire, and impulse that's bringing them back to you. Um, you know, this is, def it's, it's, it's their defense mechanism. I feel like it's intuitive behavior. They can't help but feel this way and they're acting on emotions. I don't think there's much rationality here. If there is, the rationality is coming from this Capricorn, this practicality. But other than that, there, you know, there's a lot of determination. And and someone might just be coming back here, Scorpio, with a newfound determination or a relentlessness, a certain perseverance to get your attention again or possibly get you into a relationship again with the Six of Wands. And for some, there will be someone that's victorious in gaining your attention again or victorious in entering um, another relationship with you. With the Six of Wands... Okay, Seven of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy here. Seven of Cups, there's unanswered questions. Someone has a vision, but they're not sure how to get from point A to point B. Um, as I said, uh, Cups is intuitive energy, and I feel, as I've said in one of my other videos, um, water signs are very intuitive, and emotion is... Um, is brought on through our thoughts and feelings and premonitions and dreams and visualizations and concepts and ideas. So I think that there is someone trying to connect with you on an emotional level here. Um, with the Seven of Cups is, you know, you can see your future together. So someone is envisioning having you in their life in some regard, having you a constant in their life in some regard, but they just don't know the way they just don't know the road, how to make this happen, how to bring it to fruition any faster. So I feel like someone has an end goal and you're involved in that goal. You're involved, you know, you're a part of their life and they're, they're still thinking about you um, in some regard. But I also see it as scattered energy or unanswered questions. Um, you can see it's almost like they're looking to a map. So they're looking for answers. They're looking for a way, either a way to heal and completely walk away and be independent and learn from this move on or they're looking for a way to you know break free from the spell that you've put them under or they're looking for a way to get back to get back with you um and you know they don't know how they're going to do it they just they determine that it needs to be done um is what i'm seeing here scorpio I will leave it at that though and I do hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching. Um, again, these messages will apply to some, not all. Nonetheless, I hope it was insightful. Thank you for watching and hopefully we'll chat next week. Thanks again, Scorpio. Bye for now.